Why am I talking all about all this about Vista? Because Windows 7 is an incremental update to Windows Vista. It can be seen as a service pack, but it's a little bit more than a service pack. It's it's its own release, but it was built on top of Vista. They came out within less than three years, so you can expect this not to be brand new code. But um, it was built on top of Vista. It uses the same technologies already in place. Therefore, everything that was compatible with Vista is now compatible with 7. And the user interface has a lot of changes, has enhancements, and a little better performance. The difference with 7 was it had an extensive user acceptance testing. How many people said they tried out the beta or the RC? A few of you in here did. And that helped this release and it's out, Windows 7 is out for the manufacturers and if you have TechNet or MSDN subscriptions you could get it now, if not October 22nd will be out. So just to touch on the new desktop features because that's one of the big things that had. Um, the user interface, the taskbar which is the top right picture, um, the notification area, it's a little cleaner, it has a lot more arrow. Uh, enhancements where you can like shake the screen and everything minimizes or you can put two screens one next to the other very little things the cool stuff was the jump list for instance on your taskbar if you right click on it you can see the last programs you had open or the last uh, documents you had open and whatnot and all these are little things that will make you a little bit quicker on the machine and you should train your users if you end up going to Windows 7 on how to use that desktop search anyone use desktop search at all no? Right. They improved it a bit. It's not as slow as Vista before you'd see your hard drive all day just indexing stuff. Now, it does it a little quicker and a little better. Big stuff in driver and device support. This was a huge problem with Vista, that half of your stuff wouldn't work. Uh, this time around, I haven't had trouble with <laughs> almost no, none of the hardware I have. Uh, some of the older machines a bit, but it's a lot better support. They have the home group, which is to make a network at home a little easier, but you, your expertise here will probably not use it. This is more for the home user. I still don't see mom and dad or grandpa or anything setting up a home group, but small steps. Okay. And Windows Media Player and Media Center, it's awesome. 11 came out, but I'm not going to talk about this. It is cool though. If you, use, if you have a, a home computer, a media center or whatnot, it's cool stuff, it makes it easier, you can have remote control and literally run everything from your Windows 7 machine. So some security features we're going to talk about today is the Action Center, the better UAC support, better BitLocker, BitLocker to go, which is very cool, biometric security finally integrated into Windows, Internet Explorer 8, App Locker for whitelisting, direct access, which corporate users are going to like, and PowerShell version 2. So the Action Center, this was the security center back in XP and Vista, is now called the Action Center. It's pretty cool if you use it. It's one central management place to run your firewall, both inbound and outbound. Uh, Windows updates, keep Windows updates, you know, that goes without saying. Virus protection, you still need an antivirus. How many here use antivirus? Right, you still need it, and most of your users are going to need it as well. I know some of us don't run antivirus, but spyware and malware as well. It monitors it. It has Windows Defender. I still have yet to see it block any type of spyware or scareware or any of that, but it's there. Uh, internet security settings, which is cool. That way, you don't get hijacked. Your browser doesn't get hijacked. It's all controlled from one area. The user account control we'll talk about in one second a lot better and network access protection none of you use this but if you have VPNs or direct access basically before any machine gets on your network on your corporate network it gets checked to make sure that it is com it complies with some st standards that you set this is good if you have VPN access and say someone your exec goes from his home computer which their kids use and logs into your corporate network which a bunch of malware you don't want so this integrates a little bit. There are other products up, out there for network access protection, and they're pretty good. <clears throat> the Action Center also has this maintenance uh, area where you check for solutions to problems. You literally, if you think you have a problem with your computer, you hit check for solutions, 
And most often than not, they'll find some driver issues. They'll find driver updates online, like your your video card driver has this faulty uh, faulty driver update your driver or whatnot. It's pretty good if it's used. It allows you to back up your system, check for updates, troubleshoot, like I mentioned, and of course recover. It's pretty good. The uh, backup and recovery I actually used it the other day for a buddy of mine who got infected. <coughs> Did a recovery and it actually worked this time. Supports to XP and some others. Where can you, where can you back up to? Just local DVDs? You or? could back up to a, another local hard drive. You could back up to DVD. You could back up to external hard drives. So it's pretty good. It doesn't encrypt anything, but it's a backup. It's it's more than you could do before. George, one thing I don't think you've covered is migration. Like, so you have an XP system. Are you going to cover that? Yep. Okay, cool. I'm introducing all the cool stuff first. Okay. Then we'll talk about it. All right. So the user access control, this was a huge problem with Vista. Everyone hated it. It was so naggy that, you know, you couldn't even open something without getting prompted. Uh, now you can actually customize the, the, how, how much it notifies you. So, yeah, I want you to be really annoying or no, I don't. Um, and now it doesn't prompt you so much. It knows what's signed and what's trusted, and it won't nag you as much. This could be helpful, could not be helpful. depends on your users. Again, I'm going to get very into the users and how they require training as you move to Windows 7. 